Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our session this morning with Joe Hart, um, looking at PLNs, PLEs, or COP. Um, what's in a name? Joe is a very experienced uh, educator from Western Australia. She works mainly in the VET area of education, and we're very pleased to have her here today to share with us. I'd also like to say a big thank you to our sponsors and supporters. Um, the Australia E-Series with the Learning Revolution and Steve Hargaden are hosting this event. We're very lucky to be able to bring this to you. I've, and we're also very thankful to our uh, sponsor, Cyber Academy, and also to Shambles and Car Coach Carol, who have been instrumental in supporting this little session and weekend. Okay, so to start with, uh, welcome Maria. Um, to start with, I would like you to um, grab one of the little icons down in the left hand corner. If you're not sure what to do, you can see there's a little picture there. Click on the little arrow on your toolbar, grab one of the icons and put it where you are in the world. Let give everyone a second to do that. A couple from WA, visitor from the States, oh, Argentina, welcome. That's Maria, I think. Welcome, Maria, long way. And it's great to see that all the different time zones that we're currently sitting in as well, which is fantastic. All right, we'll move on, and that brings us to Joe. Joe, please take it away. Thank you, Matt. Nice to be with everybody this, for me, early morning here in Western Australia. Okay, I've been using Blackboard Collaborate for a long, long time, and it was pretty well the start of my PLN. And so the PLN and my use of Blackboard Collaborate have sort of grown together, and I've thought a lot about what we do when we have a PLN and a PLE and a COP, and I guess the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to look at what they are a little bit, and we're going to talk a little bit about the development, and I hope I'm going to get everyone to share, because I'm a bit of a, an interaction freak, as those of you that know me will know with Blackboard Collaborator, I like to keep it busy so that people can't switch off and go and check their Facebook because they've got too many things to do. So let's have your thoughts. What's a PLN? What's a PLE? And what's a COP? Um, to type on the whiteboard, if you look at the tools down the left hand side, you'll see that the fourth one down is an A. Now just Go to that one and click, or and, and you should see that you actually get a large single capital A. Please use the large single capital A, not the scrolling text box. And you can just, yep, you can just then type on the whiteboard. If you want to be bright and cheerful, you can actually choose a different colour. And I tend to, I'm. I'm I'm a bit of a blue freak, so I tend to go for making mine colourful. And you can reselect it afterwards um, and play around with it. Okay, so we're getting some, getting a few thoughts. I'm going to be doing a bit of playing around too. We're going to be doing, we're going to be seeing some live graphs, I hope. So we'll be trying a bit of sharing. Okay, so, yeah, different thoughts on what these things are. Um, 
anybody like to grab the mic and expand on what we've what what they've put up there for any of these? If you would, just put your hand up. Your virtual hand, which is the third icon along on the tools underneath your name. And I'm quite happy to move on because I know we're going to... Yeah, Ness, go ahead. Uh, I, I put in professional learning network and, and personal learning network. For me, they are, they're the same letters, but two quite different things. One is my personal network of people that I connect with, and the other is the people within my workplace and my organisation that I connect with. So in, it's two quite different things for me. Okay, that's great, because everybody has slightly different perspective, I think. And for mine, they, they so interlink and overlap that I can't separate them. So I tend to use the, what I put in there, personal professional learning network. Okay, this is sort of how I see them. Um, from my perspective, this is how they look. And not everybody's going to see them the same way. And I just realised that I didn't put Steve's link in as well. Um, Steve Wheeler did a blog post a little while ago on the two, and that set me thinking a bit because I've, I'm, I've got a, quite a reasonable size PLN. But I'm also a member of a very focused community of practice, which is adult literacy lecturers in WA. And it made me think about it a little bit. And for me, my personal learning environment is the whole thing where the, it, it's all the platforms, it's all the places we connect. OK, Michael, do you want to grab the mic? and? Tell us why you were surprised at the definition. Yeah, I always, I was kind of thinking that um, the Global Classroom Project was a community of practice. But it looks like we're sort of halfway between because, you know, we do have um, formal uh, conversations, but most of our work is informal. Um, and dedicated to building personal and professional relationships. So it looks like we're halfway down the middle. Yeah, it's interesting because I think um, I think that's the case. I mean, I see it as a continuum, and, and where you are on the continuum. Continuum. Thank you for Ness. I guess whoever put that in, it's brilliant. Um, yeah, I see it very much as a continuum, and and. It sort of varies depending on where you are, what you're doing. OK, now, this is where we get interesting. If you click that link, you should come to a question which says, do you have a PLN and or a PLE? Well, a PLN to start with. Um, oh, I didn't mean to make that one visible. Somebody must have clicked on the wrong one. Um, we want. We want the top one of the polls, people. I don't quite know what, what's happened with that. It's come to the top and it shouldn't have done, but never mind. Click on the top one and see what happens. And let me see if I can make this live for us. Okay, I'm going to share this now. Keep your fingers crossed, everybody. Okay. Um, it is live, Carol. It should be live on the whiteboard. Um, yes, we can put it in the chat. Um, hopefully somebody might be able to do that for me. Uh, I can probably do it myself. Yeah, I've, I've, I went to a lot of trouble to make sure they were live on there because if the chat's moving fast, it's very difficult for people to get back to them. Okay, so this is, this is a live one. Um, I'm using Poll Everywhere. Um, which is one of my favourite toys for working with people when you can put it up live on the screen and they can see themselves adding their responses. 
Okay, I don't know if anybody else is going to... Okay, so we've got five replies so far. And I know I can see quite a few people are away, so I'm not sure who's here and who's not. Hi, Gail. Um, yeah, I was. It, usually it comes up instantly. Um, you know? Yeah, yeah. I need to pause the share. Um, Okay, let's go back to the link. If you'd like to click, click on the top link, you should be able to make a choice on the poll. Just the top one for the moment. Okay, Gail, I'm not, I'm not sure if this probably won't work for you directly, so I'll put the, put the link in the in the chat because I, I can see that Gail's on um, iPad. Okay, so I'm asking you in this first question, do you have a PLM? nice to have Gail with us because she's one of our fairly regular serendipity people and it's wonderful to have someone who's managed to stay awake in the States and all that. Okay, I'm going to go back to the share now. Okay, so somebody else has managed to get in a reply. Yeah, so you actually shouldn't be able to reply twice, it doesn't let you. Um, at least it's not supposed to let you. I've only, I think I've only got it set so that you can only reply once, but you know, sometimes these things don't work entirely. Not that it matters hugely, it's just a bit of a, a, bit of a play. Um, I've got it, the, the next two are pretty much the same, so I'll stop the share again. and then say, I try the second one. Let's see how we go with that one. So the second one is asking you, do you have a personal learning environment? Are there places you go to learn? I'll put that one in chat as well. Yep, and Gail, we'll get on to COP in a moment. Um, it's difficult for you because you can't see the share, but if you click on the link there, it should take you to a Poll Everywhere poll, so where you can click on Yes. I just had a, a glitch and closed something by accident.
Okay, so we've got six, six there as well. Okay, and one more. So I'm going to stop, stop sharing again. This is a bit of an experiment because I don't, um, I often don't do much app share when I'm doing things that might be global because of issues. Oh, Ness, could you, uh, did you want to ask a question or is your hand just still up from before? Thank you. I just suddenly had a panic in case I've missed you putting your hand up. Um, okay, one last, one last poll. And then we can get on with some more whiteboardy stuff, some more fun stuff. Okay, so belonging to a community of practice. And this is the one where I thought I might actually get quite a few not sure, but obviously not. Um, okay, so let's um, get back to this. The whiteboard. Okay, so now it's your turn. On the whiteboard, please, what do you use, belong to, follow, where does it fit? So again, remember to please use the single capital A because it, it gives you a better, um, a better thing on the screen. Okay, well, I'm, I'm going to put some of mine down. We've got, um, for me, there are quite a lot of litter in the middle. And I'm certainly not going to put all of my ones up because it will take the whole screen. But it's really interesting to see what we all belong to. Hi Veronica, um, we're just sharing some of the things that we belong to or we are part of or we use um, in the personal professional learning network um, range and down to the community of practice at the bottom. Hi, that's fantastic. It's wonderful to have people here from so many parts of the world. We might have to try and go back to the map at the end next, ask a few more people to add themselves. It's one of the things that often happens. <laughs> okay, so how are we going? Does anyone, anyone want to... Um, 
make any comments about what they think of our continuums. Continua. Sorry. And I suppose, really, if I stop to think about it, there are quite a lot of others that I'm sort of part of. What about Pinterest? Anybody use Pinterest and use it as a, a bit of a, a group thing? I, I guess I do with Flickr to some extent. No, well, I, d I don't use Pinterest at all, but such a lot of people do. Um, hi, Penny. I am so excited. Penny is one of my work colleagues, and I'm so excited that to have anyone from work join. And I can see that Penny's joining from her iPad. So, Penny, I'm not sure that you can write on the whiteboard. Um, you might want to do a lot of writing in text, text chat. Yeah, okay. I know I know coming in on iPad is a little bit um is a little bit limiting in some ways, but it's I, I must admit I always think well it's better than not being able to go at all. <laughs> because at least you can add stuff in text. Um Penny, we're just sort of looking at where everybody is in terms of personal learning networks and communities of practice. And I guess it's time I moved on looking at the time. Okay, something that I think is really important is that our PLNs and PLEs and even our communities of practice are not static. They evolve and change all the time. And over the last few years, I've sort of drawn diagrams of mine a few times, and I'm just going to skim through them quite fast. This is what it really looked like in 2009 when iGoogle was the focus. And I don't know about anyone else, but I still really miss iGoogle because it gave me a hub where I could connect every, put everything together. And it made life a lot easier because I only had to open one thing and I could just click on anything else I wanted. And then it still had iGoogle in it, but it sort of stretched and expanded. And now it looks, I think, quite different. And yet it's still got a lot of the same things in it. Yeah, I miss Google Reader as well, so that's the other one I miss. Those two things were sort of a real hub for me. Um, but you can see I've, my, my community practice is sort of a bit separate, but not quite. And I don't know how, how many of that happens for. We're sort of you know, a bit, bit separate. Hi, Carol. Someone else on my path. Um, I think we've, we've still got a few right on whiteboard things to come, but if iPad people want to put them in text, I'll, I or perhaps one of the other moderators will copy them and put them on the on the whiteboard if if, if that happens. Okay, so what's the most important thing about a PLA and PLA to in your practice for you? We've got A, B, C, D, E here, so I would love you to vote. And I'm going to put my comment in the other, because for me it's not just any one of those, it's a blend, and that's a big, that's a Big cop out. <laughs> yeah, and penny for all as well. Um, and I can see, you know, that that's probably what we're all thinking. And yes, if, I mean, that's why I put the other in so that people could say um, other and, and then tell us. And Penny, Gail, and oh, we have Carol, but we lost her. Oh, she may have been going into the other session, sorry. It's just that I've got the lounge session open as well. Okay, so let's just... put what people have sung. 
is bonded up there, and I think most of us are on, on the other end of the spectrum, as it were. Okay. So I've, I've got a few things that I've said to people who've been starting from scratch over the years, and certainly for me, I started with one platform, and I think that, for me, worked because I wasn't getting confused. I think if I started with all the ones I've got at the moment, I would get very confused. And it's and things like sign up to it, but sign up to it properly. Make sure you've got your avatar and your bio and everything like that, because certainly when I started, and even now, I won't follow people unless I know a little bit about them or and, and unless I'm fairly sure they're real. Find an experienced mentor. My mentor was Sue Waters, who many of you will know or have heard of, and she was fantastic. And she had a huge PLM. Um, I've never rushed with mine, and I've sort of just slowly accumulated people. And also um, accumulated different platforms. And the reason I added more platforms was because some people didn't use Twitter. And then some people didn't use Facebook. And then LinkedIn popped up for sort of professional things, you know, very sort of focused things for my industry and so on. Um, and don't forget to give and don't forget to be human. The being human thing I think is really important because that, that social interaction boils the wheels of that professional relationship. It always does for me. Um, having that opportunity to chat with people as well as do official things. And it, those of you who follow Sue will know that she has phases where she does a lot of social interaction through um, through Twitter and just makes it really, really, really great. Hi, Gary. Um, we're talking about starting a PLM from scratch. Would anyone now, it's your turn now, Please share your tips. What do you say when you come across someone who's very new to all this? So share your thoughts. Um, those of you on iPad, if you want to put it in text chat, I'll copy it across for you. Um, and if you look at the tools on the left-hand side, anybody who's only recently joined us, where it says create a text label, well, you, you get a scrolling button first, but if you press, you get a pull out. Go for create a text label. Click on the whiteboard and type, and you should be able to type. And go for colours if you like to. Yep. Okay, Gail. I'm going to I'm going to add your comment. Lots and lots of ideas for getting started. Hoping to get lots. It's what it's one of my the setting worries that I don't give back enough, enough because I don't. I'm quite careful about what I share. I don't share. I don't just randomly share what other people have shared with me. I, I, I only do it if it's. Um, I only do it if it's something that I've had time to look at. And then twice, sorry, Penny, or Gail, sorry. Yeah, and time can be an issue, and I, 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 that's been one of the things that's happened to me over the last few years in that I've had less time.
great. We're getting a real, ni really nice white bull full. I hope we would. Um, yes, and, and and I'm certainly one of those who thinks that lurking is no bad thing. Um, but when you do have something to say, be brave and say it. And that's that's really difficult to start with. I find it easier to do um, online than I did than I ever did face to face though. I'm not very good at talk, talking to strangers face to face, but I do it all the time online. Not that they're strangers anymore. Okay, let's move on. I'm just looking at the time. Okay, what about expanding or revitalizing? And this is it's a little bit of a different question this. Because when it's gone a little bit sleepy and you perhaps don't do very much, um, I've found, and I, but I've used, I've used TweetDeck from very early on, and I've found that having something like TweetDeck where I can sort things out into columns and and juggle them around and, and follow particular threads that way is really immensely helpful because you can actually pull out the stuff that you really particularly might want to reply to that way. Okay, Veronica, see you. You can be able to catch up on the recording for the rest. Um, make sure you join conversations. Join in discussions. Use, join the hashtag discussions. There isn't really one for my area of adult literacy, but I often, I haven't done it for a while, join in the elk chat discussion because that's English language teaching is, has a lot of similarities with literacy teaching. See who other educators follow, especially the people. Yeah, ask questions, Gail, is a wonderful one. I'm going to ask you guys to do a board in a second. Um, and I'm going to suggest people share. With, I've got a board too for people to share ones that they think are really good. OK, so tips your tips for expanding your PLN or APLN. OK, now let me start. I'll pull Gail back for a start. <coughs> Oops. Okay, so what would you do to re to um, what would you do to revitalise a PLN? Yeah. Getting getting new teachers involved is a, is always a good one. Yeah, and what and what you've just put in there, Penny, is something that 
really works very well with things like communities of practice as well. Find out what people want. And checking out what other people do and what other people belong to is always a, a good one. Okay, I'm going to move us on because I'm quite conscious of the time and the fact that we are strictly supposed to finish not long after quarter two. Okay, now I'm giving you an opportunity to share names that you use as part of your PLM. So if you're on Twitter. And I must admit that my Twitter one is the one I share most. Um, and share the hashtags that you follow a lot as well. Sharing your, um, I mean, Twitter is still my all-time favourite. So I tend to, I tend to do, I tend to put Twitter first when I put my PLN stuff down. Um, although probably to some extent I use Facebook almost as much now, if not more. Okay, so we've perhaps all gained, I hope, some links or some um, apps or some hashtags that we didn't have before. Um, any others that anybody wants to share? Anybody want to grab the mic and, and talk a little bit about their PLM and what it's meant to them? Just a very, very quick um, opportunity. So if you want to, please put your hand up and I'll drop the mic for you. Okay. Everybody's having a quiet phase. Everybody very quiet. Okay, Ness, I can see your typing. Or at least it looks as though you are. Um, okay. Okay, that's that's good. I'm glad you put that in there, um, Ness. But hopefully people won't leave quite yet because there's a little bit longer. Okay. <coughs> I've just moved us on to the next slide because I'd like some feedback. 
but I'd also like to know what what's your takeaway? What are you taking away? What would you what would you have to say? So I always like to get some some sort of feedback and I usually do my slides with ABC and was it okay or was it not sort of thing but um, <laughs> thank you Penny um, let me put that well maybe Penny now that we're doing a little bit of stuff together at work we might have more time well I might have more time to be able to give you a bit more of a a series of people to join in to, to join in with and so on. Okay. Let's put my comment up there. Okay, any, any more comments about the session? Was there anything you particularly liked or disliked? Um, because that's something that I'm always... Um, Maria, you could check out the people on... Um, the English language people, because there are quite a few people from Argentina, I think, who teach, who are teachers of English as a second language, who are on Twitter, and so that might you might you might be able to perhaps share them as people who live in Argentina. Um, Okay, I'm glad somebody likes Cole Everything. I'm never quite sure. Um, oh, great! So you you already you already do Elk Chat? Yeah, I join Elk Chat sometimes because I love it. Okay, thank you, Penny. Nice nice to have you with us. Um, and I'm glad somebody liked Yes Languages. Is good. Um, I'm glad somebody likes Cole Everything because I'm I'm always a bit worried when I do something like that about whether it's going to work. Okay, um, I think, looking at the time, that I'd better just move on to, actually I'm not quite sure, Ness, am I supposed to hand back to you now or move on to the next slide and then hand back to you? Joe, you could share the last slide if you like. Okay, um, time to finish. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed themselves. I enjoyed myself, but then I usually do when I'm playing on Blackboard Collaborate. And Ness did put into the text chat earlier on the link for the next session. And I'll just copy that and put it in again in chat. Um, 
and say to everybody, please remember to actually leave the room because otherwise the recording won't archive and we'll all be sitting here biting our fingernails wondering where it is. Okay, let me hand back to, to Ness. And yes, Sue's got a session later on about the student blogging challenge and I've got another one tomorrow afternoon. Thank you so much, Jo. That was a fantastic session. Um, it's really useful to, to clarify in our minds some of those technical terms when it comes to networks and so on. Uh, as you can see, there's a, um, there's a link here if you would like to go to our Aussie Live site. You can collect a badge there to say pre presented in it, in part a participant in the session. Um, at the end, you'll also receive a link to a survey. So thank you very much for everyone to everyone for coming and once again thank you to Joe.